also the first stop that I'm going to show you is what's it like to live in a consulting room. So right now I'm right outside my room. Uh, I live on the fourth floor, 432. Uh, and let's see, I'm going to open the door. My roommate's not here, so it's really easy to show you what's it like to live here. Um, so basically, uh, this is my roommate's side. You get a bed, you get a vanity desk. We have a microwave and a micro fridge with a freezer, a mini freezer. You have a recycling bin and a trash bin. A nice window, depending where you pick, you can get a great view of UT. Uh, some shelving to store food or books and a desk. I choose food to store because I like food. Um, and then you would have like one side of the bed. You'd also have a really nice poster board if you want to like post anything up cool or inspiring to remind you of home. Uh, let's see. You also have um, some overhead space too to store things. It's a lot more space than what you would think. So I'd say that if you're worried about not having enough space, even though consulting is a small room, you certainly most definitely will have enough room. Um, you also get a closet too, so you can like hang stuff or put stuff on another overhead shelf. Uh, your vanity desk also has shelves in between. Oh yeah, and then the beds also have drawers underneath. So I would say living in a consulting room, even though it appears really tiny and like you can feel, man, this is super claustrophobic, you definitely have a lot of storage space and it's a really nice space to like cool down and say, hey, it's okay. Run away from the stress of engineering. So hope you liked it. More, stay tuned for more.